Hey, Mikey, on the, the team awards announced today, you were selected as the, the best newcomer. And on a team with so many solid young players kind of earning their stripes here, what does it mean to be honored amongst a group like that? Yeah, um, obviously it's a, it's a huge honor. Uh, like you said, we got a, a ton of, you know, younger players here that have, have all had great years um, and are going to have great futures. So um, just being able to, you know, be recognized by by people uh, for that is is pretty awesome, pretty special. Uh, something I didn't think would happen a couple of years ago. So um, having it happen is, is pretty neat. And, you, you know, you entered the season with just six NHL games and you exit it playing such a big role here for this team, you know, would you say that you maybe even exceeded your own expectations for this season? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, coming into the year, uh, you know, first goal obviously was, was to be here, you know, out of camp and, and make open night roster, which I did. Um, and was thankful for that and happy with, with what happened. But, um, you know, like I just said, if you would have ever told me, uh, you know, going back three, four years ago that, um, you know, from getting drafted to, to my first year, being able to play with, with Drew for the majority of the year, um, you know, and being able to play the way in, in minutes I was able to this year, I would have probably laughed at you. So I'm pretty thankful to, you know, be given the opportunity and, um, you know, just happy that I was able to, to be here and, and experience it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mikey. Thank you. Next up is Dennis Bernstein. Mikey, on the uh, Worlds, I asked uh, Trevor this just a couple minutes ago. Um, you've played a lot of hockey here over the last six weeks, maybe 20 games or so. How much consideration did you give to maybe just resting, recharging the batteries as opposed to going over to the Worlds? Yeah, obviously uh, I was an option, but, um, you know, like you said, with the with the season, you know, playing, you know, the amount of minutes I did this year and um, kind of, you know, the first full uh, season, if you will, um, kind of as last year got cut short and um, some family stuff going on back home. I was, uh, you know, just made the choice to, to stay out for this year, go home, rest a little bit, um, you know, be with my family, um, you know, and just uh, get ready to start training again, put on some muscle and, and continue the work uh, from last summer. And uh, how much do you know about Latvia? Uh, nothing, honestly. <laughs> And one final question. Any concerns about continuing to work with John Gomez? I love working with Gomez. <laughs> I've, I, was, I was lucky to work with him at World Junior, so any time I get with Gomer is, uh, is a good time. Congrats, Mikey. Thanks. Thank you. Next up is Jesse Cohen. Hey, Mikey. Just following up on uh, Zach's line of questioning, you started the season – Maybe in pencil to be next to Matt Roy, you finished the season plan next to Drew 20 minutes a night in pen. Was there a point in the season that you felt comfortable like that was your spot in the lineup? Um, you know, I don't know if it's always comfortable. I think you you feel like you you get a little bit bigger leash if you want to say so. Um, after probably, you know, first couple of weeks playing with Drew, you, you get more comfortable with him kind of learning, you know, some of his tendencies and what he likes to do um, and kind of, you know, learning off of him. But, um, you know, hoping he enjoys playing with me and then, um, you know, kind of hearing feedback from him and some of the staff, it, it kind of, you know, builds up your confidence a bit. Um, you know, like I said, you're always, you know, got to show up and play. I mean, we, we got a ton of great players here. So if I, you know, if I'm not performing, someone can come in and, and do my job and, and take it from me. But, um, you know, I think as, as it went on, I felt more comfortable at, you know, trying to make some more plays, um, you know, grew my leash a little bit where if something didn't quite go right. It wasn't, uh, you know, things weren't changing rapidly. I would, I'd get another chance to go out there and try and do it again. And uh, Coach McClellan was asked, uh, I don't know, a couple of days ago, a week ago, about what your homework would be for the summer as far as what you would work on to come back uh, next season. I'm curious if you have your own list of things you need to improve on coming back next year. Yeah, I think for starters, um, I'm you know I'm still a still a young guy. I gotta you know continue to develop physically, put on some more muscle, um, you know have a good good uh, you know summer in the weight room and, and coming back. I'd like to you know stick with the the defending I had all year, but um, you know as time goes on, try and contribute more offensively, be able to make a couple more plays, um, try and pitch in a little bit more from that front, but. Um, I still think the big one is trying to continue to develop and, and uh, get a good summer in the weight room. Thanks. Congrats on a strong season. Thank you. Next up is Carlin Bay. 
Going back to John Gomez for a second, Mikey. Uh, Dana Bryson will be joining John Gomez over at Men's Worlds. And you know better than anybody, you know, what these guys do for your team behind the scenes. Um, how excited are you for the two of them? And what kind of um, what kind of things could they bring to the men's team USA? Yeah, obviously, uh, I think everyone here is super excited for him. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I've worked with Gomer before uh, with the World Junior events and um, I don't think he gets enough credit for a lot of the work he does behind the scenes. You know, it's not always fun pulling guys in after losses or, you know, trying to, you know, sort all the media and what we got to do. But, um, you know, he does a, a fantastic job with that. And I think Dana is going to be great uh, just around the rink. I mean, he, he does a lot of work. He does the hard work. But at the same time, he's never complaining. He's, uh, you know, he's he's a fun guy to be around, always making jokes. So. Um, you know, obviously, anytime those two are within a team setting, they're going to be uh, fantastic and they're adding, um, you know, positive morale to the whole group. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yep. And last one here from Lisa Dillman. Yeah, Mikey, do you think as, as time went by, it was easier to adjust to a compressed schedule? You know, you played more games than you've ever played in your life in, in a very, you know, narrow period of time. Yeah, I think it helps a lot. Um, you know, we were talking about it the other week, I think, or a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, whatever it was, three, four days between games, and uh, <laughs> it, it feels like a, a good two-week gap. But uh, from college in the American League, when you're, you know, mainly playing weekends, maybe a weekday game here or there, uh, you get used to the schedule of going four days of practice, um, you know, play two games and get your day off. But here you know you get into the groove of you know if you're going to practice it's 20 30 minutes um you know you're taking advantage of the rest time but then you get in the groove of, of playing games um and i think this year obviously was unique playing the same team so many times where you got to kind of pick up on you know what the teams are trying to do what individual players do more than others um and for a younger guy like me i think that's awesome to, to kind of learn some tendencies and, and you know pick up on some of that from what the older guys say but um, obviously, it's a bit of an adjustment, but uh, overall, I liked it, and I, I thought it was, uh, you know, a, a good, good jump. I'm assuming you were you able to see any of your family members at all this season? Were they able to come out and visit, or were that was that not allowed? Uh, with the protocols, uh, no one was really allowed to to travel at all. I, they did go to Arizona um, when they allowed fans, so I got to see them uh, from the ice during warmups. Um, even when we went home. For Minnesota, we were able to uh, get them to the one series of games. I got to see them up in the stands. Other than that, just uh, in the hotel in Minnesota, gave them a nice way for my hotel room, but that's been about it. Wow. So what's the first thing you do when you walk in the door um, when you get home to Roseville? Yeah, I make sure I give my, my mom a hug first. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just going home and being able to spend time with them. Um, it's, you know, we're, we're a very close family. So being able to, you know, go this salon without seeing them is, uh, is tough yeah. for all of us. So it'll be nice to get back and see all of them.